What's been really exciting about this yeast blend is that it's a collection of naturally occurring yeast, so they're non-GMO, and that just gives brewers another way to um, look at how they can biotransform their beer and convert some of these thiols by using natural ingredients. So several years ago, we started hearing this term called biotransformation, and that refers to the capability of yeast strains to interact with hop compounds because of enzymes that they express that changes what those hop compounds do in a beer. So they'll express different aromatic compounds, um, converting whatever those are. And you know that really got us to thinking, do any of our yeast strains at White Labs carry high enzyme activity that would interact with these hop compounds to change the flavor of beer? Um, so we explored some of the strains, did some research in collaboration with um, a couple of other universities to see whether or not we could detect high enzymatic activity in any of our strains. Uh, we were able to identify a collection of strains that we did find uh, had high beta lyase activity, and beta lyase has been an enzyme that we've found will actually interact with some of the hop thiols and convert them to other flavor and aroma compounds. Uh, once we identified this collection of strains, we thought it would be fun to really look at whether or not we could create some sort of natural yeast blend that could have really high enzymatic activity to convert these thiols and create you know, what we now know as these guava, passion fruit kind of characteristics in beer. And that's really what kind of spurred our idea to create this WLP 077 Tropical Yeast Blend. 077 was made available to Brewco to start running some R&D beers, which was really fun because it was a strain not available to the consumer quite yet. And we needed to make sure it was to White Labs quality. What allowed us in that opportunity was to be very selective with the hops that we used. And so we selected Simcoe, Mosaic, as well as Cascade. And with the thiol unlocking capabilities of 077, it presented just a boatload of tropical aroma, mango, guava, passion fruit, really great characteristics that I'm not sure we would have gotten that out of those hops normally. At White Labs Brewing Co, we split batch everything. So we take 10 barrels of wort and we split that into two five barrel fermenters upon knockout. And we dose each one with a different uh, yeast pitch. So with this split batch of a hazy IPA, we have our WLP 077 Tropical Yeast Blend and our WLP 095 Burlington Ale Yeast. There's not a overwhelming aroma of tropical character coming out of the 077 that you may have experienced in other beers with thyle producing strains. It's, it's very well balanced and it's, it still tastes like a typical beer with just something a little extra. It could be a great way to save money on hop, certain hop varieties and use cheaper varieties and still unlock that potential of, of the thiol aroma uh, character. But when you compare these, you can really tell there's a difference between the two, not solely because of the ester profile of the two strains, but because there's an added aroma in a different category, tropical versus citrus, that is clearly evident in 077 Tropical Yeast Blend than it is in the 095 Billington Hill Yeast.